Hey, I am Jenna and I am your yoga teacher for today. Today we are going to do yoga for travelers. I'm a traveler, you're a traveler. Now let's get started. Come into child's pose. Bring your two big toes together. Let your knees go out wide and then gently walk your forehead down to the mat and extend your arms out long in front of you. Close down your eyes and begin to manipulate your breath so that it's deeper quality and it sounds a little bit louder. Feel your belly pushing into your thighs while your hips melt behind you. Your palms push into the mat and you grow heavy. Letting the rest of your day unwind here. Coming into this moment where you can just be. Take your forehead up off the mat and walk your palms over to the right, stacking your left hand on your right palm and then melting down. This is stretching open the left side of your body creating space from any tension that has occurred from sitting for long periods of time on the airplane, waiting at the airport. Lift your forehead up and then walk your palms to the opposite side of the mat. Left palm in the ground, right palm gently stacks on top. Moving with ease, with love. Coming back to center for your child's pose. Noticing how different you feel now, both in your mind and in your body. On your inhale, come up in tabletop, stacking your hips over your knees, and then your shoulders are over your wrists. We'll begin by doing cat cow. So cow pose, drop your belly and lift your tailbone up, then reach your gaze up to the sky. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine, tuck your chin, push the earth away from you. Inhale, cow pose, belly down, gaze up, and exhale, reverse it, cat pose. Inhale, belly down, reaching your eyes up, and exhale, curling your spine, pushing the ground away. Come into that neutral spine, tabletop, and draw circles to the right, letting them be big and dramatic. It's okay if you have any pops, that's totally normal. Come back to center, and then we'll do it on the opposite side always creating balance in the body. What you do on one side, you do on the other. Come back to center. Now, curl your toes underneath. Watch your walk your fingertips up just a little bit, downward facing dog. Send your hips up high, bend your knees, plant your hands into the earth, and then push your chest closer to your thighs. You're making an upside down V-shape. Walk out your heels by picking one heel up and then dropping it down while the other rises. Downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, reach your right heel up to the sky and then step your right foot forward for low lunge. So you're high up on your fingertips. Look down at your knee and make sure your knees stack directly over that ankle. Engage your core, engage your glutes, look forward and then extend your front leg for a wide triangle, tuck your chin, and then your back heel drops down to the earth. Inhale, bend that front knee, gaze forward, your back heel rises off the mat. And exhale, transition, wide triangle. Inhale, bend your knee, engage your glutes, stretch your arms forward, 
or stretch your collarbones forward. And then exhale, wide triangle. You'll probably feel your hamstrings opening, your calves stretching. Plant both palms into the earth. Step your right foot back, high plank pose. And then transition into downward facing dog. Three-legged dog on the left side. And then step your foot forward, low lunge. Stacking your knee over your ankle and you come up high on your fingertips. Find space between your collarbones by drawing your shoulder blades back and look forward. This is stretching out that entire back side of your back leg while letting your hips kind of drop low. Inhale and exhale wide triangle. Straighten your front leg, back heel reaches towards the ground, but it doesn't have to touch. Inhale, bend your knee, gaze forward, and exhale, transition. Bend your knee, looking forward, dropping your hips down low, and then exhale, wide triangle. Plant your palms into the earth. Now listen, step your right heel to the top of your mat, Bring two fist widths, actually no, bring your feet as wide as your hips. Grab opposite elbow, tuck your chin, sway from side to side. Allowing for your shoulders to slump forward. Tucking your chin allows for your head to be heavy. Instead of carrying around your head, just let it go. Come back to center, plant your left palm, bend both knees if you need to and reach your hand up. I'm gonna stretch open your collarbones and then bring your right hand to the outside of your left hip. Your chest is lifting up, bending your knees and finding space in the shoulders and in your chest. Right hand down, left hand reaches up, bring your left hand hand to the outside of your right hip, opening up your chest and opening up that left shoulder blade. Look down at the ground, plant your palms, step it back, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, reach your right heel up to the sky and then step it through. Right knee is over that right ankle and come down to your back knee for crescent moon. Interlace your fingers and place them on the top of your right thigh. Just gently pulse into that front hip, but make sure you engage both of your glutes and then also engage your core. That's gonna help protect your lower spine. Bring your palms down to the earth for half splits. Drop your hips back towards your back heel while straightening that front leg. Inhale, brings your chest up, and exhale allows you to fold forward. Bend your front knee, bring your hips forward for that low lunge, tuck your back toes underneath, and then plant your palms into the earth, step your right heel back, high plank pose, and then downward facing dog. You don't move your hands or your feet, you just send your hips up high. Three-legged dog, left side, reach your left heel up, and then step it through for that low lunge. Bring your back knee down to the earth, making sure that your or left knee is directly over your left ankle. Come up, interlace your palms on your front thigh, engage your glutes and your core, and pulse. Allowing for the stretching to happen in your hips. It feels so good after traveling and sitting and, oh, I love it. Bring your hands down to the earth, half split, send your hips back towards your right heel, your left foot, to your toes flex back, 
at your left shin and you fold forward. Bend your front knee, curl your back toes underneath, low lunge, and then walk your palms over to the right for a wide-legged forward fold. Keep your hands underneath you, and then let your head tuck so that your head is hanging and your palms and your feet are supporting the rest of your body. Come up onto your fingertips and then gently come down to your knees by stepping both feet in towards one another, bending your knees and coming to sit. <laughs> Drop your right palm down to the earth, lift your left palm up and over while reaching that left hand up to the sky, looking down at the ground if that's comfortable or if you need a little bit more, stretching your head up towards the sky. Gaze reaches towards that left palm. Come back to center, left palm down, right palm reaches up and away. Listening to your breath. I'm feeling your belly moving up and down. Right palm down, left palm reaches up and away. Finding this time for yourself allowing for your sensory to move inward. Often when we travel, things get hectic around us. Our sensory often goes into overload, left palm down, right palm reaches up. And this is your time to be intuitive, to come back to yourself. It's the gift of yoga. Bring both palms onto your tops of your thighs, roll your shoulders up towards your ears and then back down. Inhale, shoulders up and exhale, they fall back down. One more time in this direction. Now opposite, reach your shoulders behind you and up to your ears and back down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale and exhale. Reach, interlace your palms together and then reach the insides of your palms towards the front of the room and then up and away. Inhale, reach up, exhale, your palms come back down to the mat. Inhale, palms in front of your heart, interlace your palms, reach them towards the front of the room, up to the sky, and then back down. One more time, just like that. Inhale, reach your fingertips forward, up to the sky, and then back down. All right, thank you so much for taking this time to practice with me. If you still feel like you want the movement, you need the movement, stay on your mat. Listen to your body, honoring what it's calling for. But if your travels are bringing you to the outside world so that you can explore that city or those mountains, do that. I'm Jenna, I'm the Exploring Yogini, and it has been a pleasure to serve you and to flow with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste.